questions. How can I use the principles of complex adaptive systems practically as a coach? So we discussed existing change management theories, um, some Lewin, starting with a frozen organization on freezing and then refreezing it, some Newtonian theories around force field analysis, you know, the forces that are pushing for change and those that are restraining. And then we talked about Olson and Yang's book, Facilitating Organizational Change. And they talk about complexity theory applied to change, saying that you really can't predict what's going to happen. You don't know what the end state is going to be for change. You can't necessarily control it, but success is fit with the environment. Success is not some end state, so how well do you fit? Mm. So um, we talked about the ingredients that Olson and Yang discuss in managing uh, a change through self-organization around change agents, and then having the three areas of containers, transforming exchanges, and then significant differences. And then what can you do to manage these, like changing the goal, changing the environment, changing the amount of meetings, are they one-on-one -on -one meetings, or are they group meetings, or also changing the significant differences. Are we amplifying differences mm -hmm. that are important, or, or should we dampen some, like QA role versus dev role? Mm -hmm. you know, so what are we doing around that? And then we talked about um, practical ways to apply this. So we talked about using these in experimental situations and acknowledging the client. We want to try something a little different. We want to go into a different, you know, um, use this in an environment where maybe we're more willing to, to learn and adapt, and we don't necessarily know what the end state's going to be. Right. And also talking about simulations uh, that we can use to expose the existing theories about change in the organization and making people aware of that in debriefs. And then also discussing locations. Um, so how could we change the location of our organizations and how we're organized uh, physically to try to affect change. And we talked about the word count example um, and debriefing that, which Elizabeth is responsible. Oh. <laughs>